Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're here to look at the brand new GOAT and Ignite cards coming out today here in NBA 2K24, my team. Before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 30,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day, tons of consistent daily my team content. Would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. Without further ado, let's hop right into it and let's discuss all the brand new cards today, starting off with the only free card from the GOAT set, which is always the garbage mj i will say this mj looks a little bit less garbage um surprisingly complete in terms of total badges and stats and badges he's got very quick release kemba escape hard mind the back they actually this card isn't horribly awful he's got great stats i mean for a free mj he at least has really good stats and like solid gold badges and shoff badges like he's not the best of the best only 20 hoffs but he is pretty complete in terms of most of his badges does not have a movable enforcer at all though which is like really dumb especially for an mj they always find a way to nerf these cards but i will say of all the free opals they've given so far this is the best of them even if he is still bad the opals in today's set are kobe white herb jones desmond bain and boban marjanovic the four pullable opals boban is probably the most interesting of these at seven four with a seven eight wingspan hotspots from literally everywhere 79 three ball 78 speed that's definitely flaws but we don't really know what his release looks like to be honest um he has six badge slots and you're probably going to want to do a couple of those as shooting catch and shoot and a couple others maybe maybe an open look excuse me an open looks or something um i mean i wouldn't really waste much time on playmaking honestly defense maybe things like challenger and clamps potentially uh maybe even a fast twitch i don't know in general like he's gonna be a really good standing dunker he's gonna defend really well because of his size i wonder if this card is better than like an arvidas sabonis i think he probably will be it all really depends on how his release is honestly uh, if his release is okay he'll actually be pretty good if his release is terrible i don't think he'll be great but he should be usable and bobon is always a fun card not to mention he's seven four so not not a hater of that by any means desmond bain is only six five of the six four wingspan at shooting guard so he's kind of small um he does have very good stats especially i mean he's got an 85 driving dunk but he's got good finishing badges elite shooting badges blow by speed booster clance fast seat glove rights to gripper does not have half handles for days though missing some other half defensive badges that would be nice to see um release is pretty nice but sigs i don't believe are too incredible on this card or anything unfortunately although he might have jamal murray behind the back i know he's got a good drag back like this desmond bain card will be decent he, he's He's not going to be great though he's only 6'5 i just don't think he's going to be anything special whereas a guy like herb jones is 6'7 with a seven foot wingspan shooting guard he's got a more he's got more size and definitely more defense to be more of your stereotypical three nd shooting guard ton of defensive badges blow by speed booster bunch of half shooting badges as well as bulldozer fast twitch post or precision dunker a 90 driving dunk 93 three ball good speed great great defender this card is really really good for an opal this is the best opal shooting guard in the game probably just because i think i mean you compare him to a guy like mike miller or kyle corver who were your best viable shooting guards and i think this card gives you still elite level shooting even if it's not quite as good but he is number one a good shot creator lebron dribble style is pretty good kemba escape is great so he's got some sigs and then he is also an elite level slasher and a exceptional on ball defender so i think herb jones is actually going to be really good kobe white's only six five well he's eh, he's a point guard so i mean that's not horrible size but it's not great six five wingspan um badge wise like solid across the board honestly golden movable half handles for days blow by speed booster hyperdrive all that type of stuff shooting badges are great finishing badges look really good i think his release is solid i don't really remember though that's one thing i will say he's got Kyrie dribble style tray escape uh, pro behind the back job while drag right probably jamal murray behind the back this card is souped holy crap free for an opal point guard they gave him like pretty much god six if his release is good this cubby white card is a very fun opal point guard because six five very good athlete great six that's a good viable point guard for sure the pullable mj is slightly better than the um free mj although they do look pretty similar i would say animation wise they are the exact same so they actually it's the smallest gap they've had between the free mj and the pullable version so far but there's also going to be four dark matter versions of him as well because we definitely need four dark matter mjs but before we get to the dark matter mjs we have um dark matter bobby jones who's the clutch time online reward for this season the only free card from today's drop um 40 hoffs but he only has an 81 three ball although his shooting badges as a base card are not horrible so you can add agent three and dead eye limitless open looks space crater you can add every badge he's missing um and then obviously he's an exceptional athlete he has half blow by speed booster unpluckable every defensive badge in the game on hall of fame exceptional defensive and rebounding stats very good speed great dunker shooting wise what's the release markel fultz base dwight howard upper on very quick that's not great 
That is not great. I don't love, love Fultz's base, and I don't think Dwight's upper is great. I don't think that's going to be an elite level release, although he does have really good sigs, carry dribble style, tray escape, Steph slide, uh, and, or the curry slide, and then John Wall's drag back. So, like, you have good sigs. I just don't think his release is going to be quite good enough. This is, did he have Dwight's upper? I thought he had Dwight base. He had Dwight base, Markel upper, and they switched them. What? That's confusing. They, did they really switch him from Dwight base Markel Upper to Markel base Dwight Upper? What? Why? I don't know what I'm missing. That's 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 strange. But this Bobby Bobby Jones looks pretty good. I just I don't know how that release is gonna be. The dark matters are Blake, Lonzo, Jalen Brown, and obviously Yao. Yao at seven six with a seven nine wingspan may not have exceptional stats, but he's really really good obviously this is one of the best bigs in the game definitely a great option it's nice that there's now the counter to 100 overall yao what's not nice about it is that this yao is also a gambling only card no way to guarantee that you get him so that's pretty terrible um 95 standing dunk 98 interior like uh, he's gonna dunk really well he's gonna defend he's just yao man he's he's gonna be big he's gonna hit a wide open three he's going to dunk the ball insanely well be a glitch on the inside get a lot of paint stops a lot of rebounds he's just gonna do the same glitchy stuff that yao does every single year his release isn't great but it is acceptable enough you'll hit when you're wide open and that's about it like i think that's that's what yao is honestly he's just he's, he's gonna be glitchy as always um and one of the better cards in the game for sure six six to the six eleven wingspan jalen brown is super good but he doesn't have half handles for days and i'm assuming they still get Gave him his own release yep okay so Jalen Brown is actually not super good because his release is not exceptional now pro 2 fade is nice Trey escape is obviously a W he's got some upgraded sigs and things of that nature so he's got some he's good you know what I mean he's got great stats and badges but no half handles for days is, is a pretty important badge and then also his release not being an elite level top tier release is definitely not the best case scenario I don't hate this Jalen Brown card. I just don't think he's the best at the shooting guard position. I think there's going to be some better options because of his release. Lonzo at 6'6", six, six, the 6'7", six, six, Langston at point guard is going to be very good. The question with him is mainly Sigs because we know he's got super complete stats and badges pretty much across the board, has everything you want. Kyrie Dribble style, Trey Escape, they upgraded to Sigs significantly, although he does still have his own release, Pro 2 Fade. He's got much better Sigs, though. This card is probably a better version of an SGA, would be my main would be my main comparison with him realistically um maybe a better Clyde Drexler that type of card um very very good I think he is an elite level or elite level dark matter for sure uh definitely one of the better guards in the game even at only 6'6 and then Blake I'm sure Blake is good but Blake kind of like Jalen Brown has the same flaw where his release is just not exceptional um Kimba escape hard mind the back John Wall drag back MJ dribble style again he's 6'9 with a really good player build with a three like I think this card is very good 97 three ball 94 speed uh 94 three ball 97 speed I'm sorry 99 driving and standing up of course defensively he is very good and they did not give him off handles for days unfortunately but that is okay I didn't really expect him to get it still very complete as a base card like I think Blake looks good I think he's good I just think him and Jalen Brown while both very good on paper their releases aren't quite as good Lonzo's release isn't exceptional either and really neither is Yao's but they their position I, I think Lonzo's release is pretty good and and then Yao is just positionally so glitchy uh, with his size. So in general, like uh, not a bad drop of Dark Matters this set. If you're locking it in with MT, I feel like it's not the worst, but it's also not the very best. Obviously, if I lock in the set with MT, which I'm honestly not totally sure if I'm going to or not yet. But if I do, probably going to be hoping for Yao or Lonzo, but uh, it's not the worst drop in the world. Now, we have the four Dark Matter MJs, all of which are the exact same card, all of which are basically pretty much the 100 overall MJ. Um, the same SIGs as 100 overall MJ would have, but they did change his fade to Pro 2, which I think his 100 overall also has. Yes, 100 overall. 100 overalls also have Pro 2 fade. He has his old 100 overall, which has the exact same animations as this new 100 overall. And then statistically, I mean... <laughs> Dude, there's four Dark Matter MJs, and they're all going to play the exact same as the 100 overall. They just have different positional specifications. Regardless, I'm just going to make this very clear. Every single MJ that came out today is not that good with the exception of the GOAT one. That's just the honest truth, because MJ's release is bad, and that is the that is the fact. I mean, that is the honest truth at the end of the day. Um, I'm not skipping over Bill Walton. I've just already made a whole couple of videos on this card so i'm glad they added him 2k db again go type in the locker code do his challenges all that type of stuff rest in peace to a legend but he's not actually new from today's drop um all the mjs by the way are the exact same so no point in really looking at that die just if you pull one cool but in general i don't think they're that great regardless now 100 overall d rob 7 with a 7.5 wingspan um 
I mean, obviously, he's one of the best power forwards in the game, one of the best centers in the game, like one of the better cards in all of the, in all of my team. Kyrie dribble style, the ever release, pro two fade, top top best of the best sags. Like this card is absolutely exceptional in every way. He is the best, one of the best bigs in all of my team for sure. But he's 100 overall. He's not going to really exist very much, uh, and I think in general he's going to be super duper rare still. So I don't think it matters that much, which is kind of a shame because you know me. I love David Robinson. If y'all have known me for a long time, y'all know that D-Rob's always one of my favorite cards on my team. So it's a shame I'm not going to be able to get this card. But at the end of the day, it kind of is what it is, right? What are you going to do? Um, outside of that, 100 overall MJ, who, like I said, is just like his other 100 overall and is not going to play any better or worse, really, than his regular Dark Matters or anything like that. I mean, he's just eh, mid. He was mid when his first 100 overall came out a couple months ago at this point. Like, it's just a mid card, not a lead at the point guard position. 100 overall MJ does not excite me. The only MJ that does excite me is the GOAT MJ, and that's because he has Patty Mills base, but he still has MJ's upper, which means his release is still not going to be that incredibly great because MJ's upper is bad. But he does have, obviously, every single Hall of Fame badge in the game, every single stat on 99, and then obviously that Patty Mills base will definitely help when it comes to his release. But I do think at the same time, you still have some flaws, and he still is not going to be probably the best point guard in the game, as crazy as that is to say, although he might. I don't know. Regardless, this is another drop that, number one, is not worth gambling because nothing here is game-changing. Um, it's it's a drop where you, you open your 10 box with MT or you lock in the set with MT or whatever you're going to do, but you definitely don't spend money on the game. None of these drops are drops to spend money on the game. If you're still playing my team, please make sure you're doing so in a no money spent fashion. And yeah, at the end of the day, that is where we're going to call today's video. So I hope you all did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. And I appreciate y'all. Peace.